Welcome everybody to our 30 minute neck healing slow flow. For those of you who don't know, I am Juliana. I am a yoga mentor and experienced yoga teacher. I've been a yoga teacher for over 10 years and my passion is really helping yoga teachers step into their power and share their gifts with the world. So let's get started today on our mat. We're going to come to sit in an easy seat. So we'll come to sit crisscross yoga sauce. You can sit up on a prop, block, blanket, bolster, whatever is comfortable for you. And then just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Again, deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. One more, deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Really just allow yourself to arrive on your mat. Let go of any thoughts that aren't serving you. As human beings, we have the ability to be in two places at once, physically here on our mat, but mentally somewhere else, mentally playing our to-do list, mentally replaying a past conversation or anticipating a future conversation. And I invite you to let that go and just Give yourself permission to be present right here, right now. Begin to deepen your breath. Feel your breath move through your lower belly, your rib cage, your heart space. And on your exhale, activating your ujjayi breath, feeling the breath in the back of the throat, hearing the breath like the sound of the ocean. Letting your breath be your anchor out of your head and into your heart. When you can't put your feelings into words, when it's not safe to express your truth, your deepest pains, your old hurts, sometimes the body j does the job for us, trying to communicate, trying to find a way to cue us in on what we're feeling and what's going on. Listen to your body. Instead of thinking something is wrong with it, ask yourself, what is it trying to tell me? Nick Ortner. We learn in yoga that we have a mind-body connection. For every physical ailment, there is a mental, emotional component. The pain and discomfort is coming into our experience to teach us a lesson. Instead of pushing the pain away, be open to the lesson that it's here to bring. Louise Hay, author of You Can Heal Your Life, lays out the different mental, emotional patterns that cause physical pain. She says the neck represents flexibility in life. When we have neck pain, it's a sign that we are refusing to see the other side of a question, being stubborn and unbending. I invite you to right now place your hands on your neck and mentally repeat, I am flexible. It's safe to see other perspectives. I am willing to see other points of view. Let's set the collective intention of healing neck pain on all levels, physically, mentally, emotionally. Bring the palms to press in prayer. Join me or just listen as we open class with a single chant of Om. Deep breath in. Uh, slowly 
begin to flicker the eyes open. Release the hands, switch the cross of the legs so opposition in front, it might feel a little funky, that's okay. Take the hands to the knees, drop the chin to the chest, let the head hang heavy. Inhale, chin to right shoulder. Exhale, chin to center. Inhale, chin to left shoulder. Exhale, chin to center. And just repeating this at your own pace, finding what I call next smiles. Invitation to close the eyes, take the practice inward, really feeling for the sensation in the neck. And the next time your chin comes to your chest, just pause. Inhale the head all the way up. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Get a nice stretch on the left side of the neck. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. If you feel a lot of sensation, invitation to stay right here. If you want more sensation, straighten out the left arm. Let the fingertips hover right above the mat. Thumb rotates up and energetically draw the fingertips down. Deep breath in here. Deep breath out. You can stay here if you want a little bit more. Right hand comes right above that left ear. Drawing that right ear closer towards the right shoulder. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now gaze towards that right hip. Like if your yoga pants had a pocket, you'd be looking right at the pocket. Take the right hand to the back of the head as you draw the chin to the chest. Notice how this shifts the stretch. Inhale, slowly release your hands to your legs. Exhale, chin to your chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Get a nice stretch along the right side of the neck. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Invitation to stay here if you feel a lot of sensation. If you want more, right arm extends, thumb rotates up. Fingers hover just off the ground and energetically pull the fingers down. Deep belly breath in. Deep belly breath out. Invitation to stay here or left fingertips come right above that right ear, drawing the left ear closer towards the left shoulder. Inhale, turn your gaze down towards your left hip. Draw the left hand to the back of the head as you draw the chin to the chest. Tuning inward, noticing for the shift in sensation. Inhale, slowly release the hands all the way down. The chin comes to the chest. Exhale, lift the head all the way up. Inhale, gaze all the way up towards the ceiling, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, drop the gaze down. Interlace the fingers now behind the head, draw the elbows in, a little pressure downward. Inhale, elbows come up, gaze comes up, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. One more time, inhale, elbows come up, gaze goes up, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. Pausing here for a breath, deep belly breath in. Deep belly breath out. Inhale, release the hands. Exhale, make your way to tabletop, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Inhale, belly comes down, gaze goes up. Exhale, round the back, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly goes down, gaze goes up. 
Exhale, round the back, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly goes down, gaze goes up. Exhale, round the back, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, come to neutral tabletop position. Tuck your toes under, lift the button, hips up, find downward facing dog. Take a breath here to pedal out the feet or shift your hips from side to side. Getting comfortable in our first downward facing dog together. Returning to stillness, inhale, right leg reaches all the way up. Exhale, right knee to nose, step the foot between the hands. And if it doesn't get there, that's okay. Just take your hand to your calf and scoot it forward. Drop your back knee down, untuck your toes. Inhale, rise all the way up. Find our low lunge. Exhale, soften the shoulders away from the ear. Connecting back with our mantra, I am flexible. I'm willing to see other perspectives. I'm willing to see other points of view. Exhale, your hands come all the way down. Frame the right foot. Scoot the hips back. As you shift your right foot forward, flex your right toes. Finding our half split. Beautiful, Danny. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold heart to toes, sending the breath, the energy, the tension to the back of the right leg. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rebend into your right knee. Take your palms to press in prayer now. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left elbow hooks on the outside of the right knee. Find your prayer twist over to the right. Option one is to stay right here just like this. Option two is to tuck your back left toes. Lift your left knee. Yogi's choice. Just breathing. And if you haven't already, tuck those back left toes. And inhale, rise all the way up. Cartwheel your arms, spin your back foot down. Find warrior two. Yes, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Really rooting down, lengthening through the crown of the head. Channeling your inner warrior. You are a brave fighter who never gives up. Inhale, straighten that front right leg. Exhale, right arm reaches forward, 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 forward. When you can't reach anymore, right hand comes down to ankle, calf, shin, left arm reaches up. One more deep belly breath in here. Deep belly breath out. Exhale, slowly release that left hand down to the ground. A little bend in your right foot. Shift the weight to your right foot and your back left leg. Come up off your back left foot. Take your right hand to your hip. Option one is to stay right here just like this. Option two is you're going to draw your left shoulder down. Peel your right shoulder up and maybe your right arm comes up for our revolve half moon or twisted half moon. This is a challenging pose. So if you fall out of it, don't worry, come back into it. Deep belly breath in. On your exhale, right hand comes down to meet the left, left foot steps to meet the right, find forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Root down through the feet, inhale, circle through the arms, down around and up. Exhale, palms, press in prayer, close the eyes, thumbs to chest, connecting back inward, giving yourself permission to see other perspectives, other points of view, getting outside of your box, of your comfort zone. All right, when we step outside of our comfort zone, our familiar way of doing things, that is where growth happens. That is where we transform into who we were meant to be. And so seeing a different perspective might not be comfortable for you. And that's okay. 
That means you are growing and give yourself permission to lean into that. Take a deep belly breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Root down through the feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms down, around and up. Exhale, release the hands down, circle the wrists on the way down and interlace your fingers here behind your back. Take your hands over to your right hip. Draw your right elbow in and draw your right ear towards your right shoulder. See if you can soften that left shoulder down. Going a little bit deeper into the neck here. Inhale, the arms come back behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the gaze and chest up. Exhale, the hands come over to the left hip. Draw the left elbow in, left ear towards the left shoulder. Inhale, the arms come back behind you. Exhale, as you begin to fold hinge from the hips, reach the arms up overhead. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands to the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step it back to plank pose. Your choice, knees down or up. It is your practice, but feel your strength, not just your physical strength, but that inner strength it takes to be willing to shift perspective. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, shift forward, bend your elbows slow with control lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes, let the forearms come down. Find our sphinx pose, elbow right underneath the shoulder. Draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, look over that right shoulder. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. And continue this from side to side, seeing if your eyes can look even further over the direction that we're looking. Noticing your range of motion in your neck. Taking one more on either side and then we'll pause in stillness. From here, lower the chest and forehead down. Plant the hands, tuck the toes, lift the button hips up and back. Return to downward facing dog. Deep breath in here. Deep breath out. Inhale, your left leg reaches up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Step the foot between the hands. Drop the back right knee down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Reconnecting with our mantra. I am flexible. I am willing to see other points of view. I am willing to see different perspectives. Exhale, release the hands all the way down to the mat. Shift your hips back as you scoot your left foot forward. Flex your left toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold heart to toes. Inhale, re-bend into that left knee. Exhale, palms press in prayer. Right elbow hooks on the outside of the left knee. Take a deep belly breath in. And a deep belly breath out. Option to stay here or tuck your back right toes. Lift your right knee up off your mat. Yogi's choice. If you haven't already, tuck the back right toes. Windmill your arms up. Spin your back heel down. Fine warrior two. Rooting down through the feet. Lengthening through the crown. Gaze over that front left middle finger. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Reach your left arm forward, forward, forward when you can't reach anymore. Left hand comes down to calf, ankle, shin block. Right arm reaches up for our triangle pose.
Inhale, that right hand comes down to the mat. Little bend in the left knee. Come up off your back right foot. So shift the weight to the left foot, right hand. Left hand comes to your hip. Option one is to stay right here. Option two is to take your right shoulder down. Left shoulder reaches up. Left arm reaches up. This is our revolved half moon. You got it, Lizette. It's a challenging pose. So give yourself grace. Deep breath in. On your exhale, left hand comes down. Or right foot meets left foot. Find forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold, root down through the feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms down around the mouth. Exhale, palms, press in prayer. Close your eyes, thumbs to chest. Connect inward. Notice an area in your life where maybe you aren't being mentally flexible. Maybe you aren't seeing an alternate perspective. Can you give yourself permission to see things differently, to see things in a different light, an alternative perspective, knowing that it doesn't mean that your perspective is wrong or bad, but just being willing to see both sides. Let's take a deep breath in, open the mouth, sigh it out. Root down through the feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms down, around and up. Exhale, little bend in the knees as we fold, hinge from the hip. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step it back to plank pose. Your choice, knees down or up, but pause and hold. Feel your strength, your physical strength, your mental strength. You are strong. Inhale. On your exhale, shift your right forward, bend your elbows slow with control, lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes here, forearms come down, find our sphinx pose. Drop the chin down to the chest. Inhale, chin to the right shoulder. Exhale, chin to center. Inhale, chin to the left shoulder. Exhale, chin to center. So finding these neck smiles at your own pace. See if you can create even more space here in the neck. The next time your chin comes to your chest, pause. Inhale the head all the way up. Exhale the chest down, hands come right underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the button hips up and back to down dog. Deep belly breath in here. Deep breath out. Inhale, your right leg reaches up. Exhale, bend your right knee, stack your hips open. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right knee behind right wrist. Shin comes parallel to the front of the mat. Scoot the left toes back, setting up for pigeon pose. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, begin to fold, making your way into sweeping pigeon. Inhale, slowly begin to rise all the way up. Exhale, shift your weight over to the right side. You're going to flip your left toes up. Your right foot will come into your upper left thigh. So you're moving sideways on your mat. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms down, around and up. Exhale, twist over to the left as you begin to fold heart to toes. Inhale, slowly begin to rise all the way up. Left hand comes to right knee, right arm sweeps behind you for a little twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turn that gaze over the back, right shoulder.
Inhale, slowly come back to center. Bend your left knee, bring it parallel your shin to the back of the mat. Take your hands down to face towards the back of the mat. Draw that right leg back behind you. Find pigeon on our second side facing the back of the mat. And sometimes you just get here how you got to get here. That's okay. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And on your exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly begin to rise all the way up. Exhale, shift your weight over to the left, straighten out the right leg. Left foot, bottom of the foot, comes to upper right thigh. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, fold, heart to toes. Letting your hands fall wherever they may fall. Inhale, slowly begin to rise. Exhale, right hand, left knee, left arm spins behind you. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turn the gaze over that back left shoulder. Inhale, slowly return back to center. Straighten out the left leg. Bring both of your feet to face towards the front of the mat. So just readjust yourself. Bend your knees and slowly begin to roll all the way down onto your back. From here, walk the feet in close to the butt. Arms come down alongside the body, palms face down. Inhale, lift the butt and hips up. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Exhale, pause and hold. Invitation to stay here. If you want more, maybe you interlace your fingers underneath your back. Come up more on the shoulders. Exhale as you slowly release the hands. Lower the butt and hips down. Windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Hug the knees into the chest. Inhale, chin up to beat the knees. Head, neck, chest, lift, squeeze it all in. And on your exhale, find Shavasana. Let your feet fall open like a book. Allow your arms to come down alongside the body. Palms rotate up. Eyes are closed. This is a sacred time in our practice where we allow all of the work we've done to truly sink in. Wherever you're at, beginning to deepen your breath. And then to wiggle fingers free. Take a full body stretch, arms reach above your head, point your toes, hug your knees into your chest, roll to either side, and then press your way all the way up to a seat. Eyes closed, palms press in prayer. As you bow your head to your heart, honor yourself for coming onto the mat. 
taking our mantra, I am flexible. I am willing to see other points of views and other perspectives with us off our mat and into our lives. Join me or just listen as we close class with a single chant of OM. Deep breath in. Uh... The light in me honors and acknowledges the light in you. Namaste. I would love to hear how you're feeling. So if you're watching on YouTube, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on.